Well, it's the first day of 2019 and you know what this new year has brought me? Two pimples. Thanks, 2019. I'm gonna keep today's video short and sweet, just a quick tech review. We're gonna be talking about the Smart Omi Truly Wireless Q5 earbuds, I believe it's what they're calling it. We'll go ahead and go through the pros. They are very inexpensive compared to other Truly Wireless headphones. <coughs> Apple AirPods, I'm talking about you. So at a fraction of the price, you can get pretty decent, um, you know, truly wireless headphones if that's what you truly desire. But I think that's probably the only pro that these earbuds have. Besides the fact that they're kind of an odd shape, they're like this big, they're kind of like brick style shaped. They stick out of your ear quite noticeably so you can tell when you have these on. And oftentimes I feel like they stick out too much or they're gonna fall if I move. I haven't had them fall yet, but just the fact that they feel insecure refrains me from actually using them on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, one of the biggest cons that I would say right away to watch out for is that these are out of sync when you listen to or watch YouTube videos. Now, the audio itself is good. Again, it's decent for the price, but if you're an avid like YouTube watcher and you actually watch the videos, not just listen to them, I really wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't recommend these earbuds. So I was sent these by Smart Omi themselves to kind of review them, and I don't think I ever really did. I think I did an unboxing, but not so much a true review. So better late than never, but I finally tried these out. Let's just say I wouldn't buy these with my own money. They also come with a dual charging cable, so it's one cable to charge both of the earbuds, so that's that's kind of neat. It's pretty short, but it, it'll do. I did notice it does take quite a while to charge, so keep that in mind. And also, sometimes it can be tedious to pair the earbuds to your phone. Which brings me to my other kind of con. It takes a long time for them to turn on and a long time to turn off. You're kind of there pressing and holding for quite a while until you actually hear the beep, it's connected, and until you hear the beep, it's, it's turning off. So sometimes I think I'm turning it off because I've pressed on it for a couple of seconds, but it wasn't enough and I'm having to redo the process. So again, keep that in mind, kind of tedious. Um, so that's it for today. I hope the new year has treated you a lot better than it's already treated me. So fantastic. And I will see you guys in the next video.